Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today is the day where we find out about NBA 2K19, my career. I do have the trailer on hand, so we will be reacting to that. Um, also, my beard is growing uh, a little okay. Uh, I got to scan my face in two basketball games, Live 19 and 2K19. So I'm just growing it all back. Um, if you guys missed that video, that video is in the annotation above. But let's hop into the trailer. Let's react to it. Let's break it down after that. And then I'll get a couple questions from you guys in the comments. So let's hop into it. Hey, hey, Corey. I'm drowning out here, man. Help me. Don't be naive, AI. You're not ready. Everybody's waiting for you, so let's get started, please. You held your own with Han Chi. People are starting to take notice. Have a seat. Welcome to the Mad Ant, son. Do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. <laughs> hey, yo, new guy. Here's what you need to know. The summers. Four scenes with the Bulls, six with the Heat. Yeah, now I'm a Mad Ant. The winners. Does that make sense? I think it doesn't so. really, now that I say it out loud. It's my team. It's never going to be yours. Suck it up! What you want to hey, do? Oh, come on, man. Get a prize. The girl you're trying to impress here. You heard him. Impress me. You never cared about anyone but yourself, AI. And until you do, this is exactly as far as you'll go. You want to get to the next level? This is what you have to do. Let's see who scores the most points tonight. Look, enough talk. Let's play. You just tried to run before you could crawl. Learn how to crawl. See through the dark, push through the rain, numb to it all, I'm acquainted with the pain. AI, we have one game left this season. The question is, are you up for it? You can't learn it, it's just in there, piece yeah. of soul. I can make this set fire to social media. Hey Marcy, you gotta read on my lunch? It's a classic 2K. We're all here to have fun! I'm having a great time! That is the difference between a player and a legend. I know he's going to help you, but you're in my way. What? Your face. Wait a second. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, let's break that down. Okay, so, um, I don't think our eyes were ready to see what we just saw. Um, I'm going to make a couple quick hits real fast before you guys start yelling at me in the comments. Um, first thing, I like the trailer. I know, chill, chill. I'm going to tell you why I like the trailer in a second. Just let me get my hot takes out real quick. I like the trailer. Um, I like where it starts, but I don't like where it ends. I would have liked to see it end with a more of a superstar type of effect where you actually see your guy in the NBA flourishing superstardom. Um, honestly, getting in the back of a car, driving service is pretty great. But also, I like all of the actors in it. I know you guys are probably like, Bro, we don't care about actors. This is a basketball game. Um, we're going to have 30-minute cutscenes. This is going to be like Long Shot and Madden. Wait for it. Wait for it. So, from all the actors that I've seen inside this actual trailer, all of them are dope actors. Um, I've seen uh, one of the dudes from, uh, I think it's um, American Gods or something like that. I've seen another dude. Um, I've seen Michael Rad Radaport. Uh, I've seen, it's a lot of actors that I like. Um, I'm not really too sure about their names and stuff, but I just remember their projects. I'm more of a movie buff, so, I mean, maybe it, that's where it's coming from. It's coming from, like, my movie buff, like, brain, whereas, though, like, I see all these actors and I'm like, yo, the acting's not going to be bullcrap. We're not going to get another, uh, what's that chick name? Uh, B, whatever her name was. I forgot her. 2K18 is dead. But... I think I like the trailer because it shows a storyline of where your player starts, where he's trying to get to, and where he's going to be. Now, I'm going to hit you guys with actual factuals real quick. When the trailer first started, I was kind of like, bro, what am I watching? 
And then, like, as it progressed, I'm like, okay, I'm starting to understand it. Because if you don't know what the Mad Ants are, the Mad Ants are actually a G League team. They're, um, I think it's Fort Wayne uh, Mad Ants or something like that. I try to follow the G League as much as possible. But from the Mad Ants logo that I saw, that has to be the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. So, they are trying to implement the G League. And, of course, we didn't see... Uh, Anything where you actually got drafted. Um, I think it was like one of those, oh, I got drafted and my homie went, but I didn't go. So now I'm over here with all these weirdos. But it's, it's really dope to see that because now we always used to see the friend that didn't make it or the friend. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, besides Justice, I mean, because he became your friend afterwards. But I think within that little clip, we seen the friend that made it and you didn't. And then you had to get shipped out. And then I seen him building up his persona inside the G League to then hopefully making it to the NBA, getting called up or whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of people are going to kill me, but I'm just, I'm really stuck on the actors. I know that really doesn't matter because it's my career and we care about archetypes, badges, gameplay, stuff like that. But as far as storyline go, this might be one of the best storylines on 2K if they do it right. The only way that this works and I know that, you know, with all these actors that they had to probably pay to get on this game, I pray that they had a big enough budget to at least go three seasons in. Because every year, 2K, it's the same story. Once we get into our third My Career season, we have like almost, you know, 7 out of 10 to 10 out of 10 objectives done to make it to the Hall of Fame. So please, I hope this storyline stretches to your third season. I would hate... If it's a one season, one done thing storyline, and then they keep calling you rookie after every year that you're in the NBA. I will hate that. You know what I'm saying? I, I would love it. And, you know, even if you give me a little snippet cutscene in the beginning of the second year, like, you in the locker room, hey, man, uh, I see it's our second season together. You know, maybe we can, you know, win the chip or we can make it to the All-Star game. So, something real subtle. Something to let me know that we're progressing as far as storyline goes. Um, What else? It's so many gems in there that I didn't notice, and that's why we're going to watch it again and again. Um, we're probably going to watch it maybe like two or three more times. So with that being said, start letting your comments flow right now because my phone is literally still blowing up. Like, look at my phone, bro. Look, like, like, yo, dead serious. Like, look at my phone. Look at my phone. My phone is going crazy right now on Twitter, man. Twitter is going crazy. I have, it looks like 41 notifications in one thread and yo my, my phone is my phone is blowing up but check this out give give all your hot takes right now on what you saw only only off of just seeing it one time we're actually going to rewatch it throughout this video and we're going to uh you know going to lower the volume and then notice what we notice um and i'm gonna try to like pause it at times i'm not sure if i can pause it too much but maybe i could slow it down that's what I'll do. I'll slow it down on the first rewatch, and then I'll speed it back up to normal speed for the uh, the actual, like, you know, breakdown, breakdown, breakdown. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Um, my hot takes are over. Don't kill me in the comments. Let's watch it again. All right, let's check it out. So we got 2K NBA stars versus the Bears from Shanghai. Now, I'm not sure what, um, I think this goes down to like the last shot. Now, the reason uh, I turned off the audio, guys, is because the slow-mo audio sounds so terrible. But basically, he's yelling at the dude. The dude name is AI, um, which I guess they didn't feel like naming a dude anymore because they got tired of people complaining about names. So now, they just named you AI. So now, you're a random computer out here in this world. Now, this is the dude that must have made it to the NBA. And he's probably telling him, like, hey, man, you know, just fight for what you what you wish for, and maybe it'll happen. Now, that dude right there is from one of my favorite TV shows. Um, from uh, It, it uh, went, like, I think it was a down south type of vibe where he was, like, a running away slave. And then he had another show where he was, like, um, breaking into stuff and stuff like that. I think, like, he was a jewelry thief or stuff, something like that. It was one of them USA TV shows. I like that. But um, the social media manager, uh, I mean, I'm not really a big fan of him, but... I do notice that they do endorse you to wear like different clothes and stuff like that through your cutscene, so that's pretty good. Now, remember I was telling you guys about Mad Ants. Now, this is the dude from American Gods as well as a couple other TV shows, but he looks like more of a mentor 
type of feel. Remember, I got guys I told you about like mentor badges and stuff like that. Remember, I made that video. Maybe that's like your mentor, and then like he helps you get better in your position. So whatever position you create, maybe he'll be that, and he'll be the older mentor for you. But you know, let's let's just hold on to that. So you know, it gives you that feel. Now this dude, I remember him from a couple other movies and stuff like that. Um, uh, what, what was the movies called? Uh, he was recently in the joint where I think like he, he was getting a whole bunch of chicks and stuff like that. I think it was like a strip club type vibe. I can't remember the show, but, um, I don't like her. I mean, she's cool and all, but just not as your, uh, you know, interest, like your love interest. I really, they never get it right. I mean, they, they try to get the love interest right, but it don't be right, bro. Now these are two friends talking, I guess in the arcade. You know what I'm saying? He's telling them, like, hey, man, you got to do better, baby. But uh, Mad Ants Basketball, they're, they're really pushing this uh this vibe for the G League. Now, let me see. Yeah, see, see, they got the G endorsement on the jersey. Now, that just shows you guys that G League teams most likely will be playable for play now in the game. Now, everybody remembers him. He's from uh the guy doing Avengers movies as well as a couple other uh, movies that came out years ago. But um, it looks like they're pushing that 2K Sports stuff again. Um, you see the 2K Sports Medicine Ball right there. Now, he made it to the NBA, and now he's clapping at, hopefully, him. I think maybe he's clapping at him making it to the league for the first time. Now, Michael Radiport, I can't remember what his character was without listening to the audio. But um, it looks like that, that, okay, welcome AI. Okay, maybe that's something that... um. Happens okay now they're giving out all the actual names of the actors, but I just remember all their projects. I'm be knowing like real actors' names. I be knowing their names from like movies. All right, okay, so he was the what coach? That looks like a lake. Was that a Lakers type uh coaching thing? I think that maybe that was a G League Lakers. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, it looks like they got I'm Under Armour branding. It looks like he makes friends. This is that mentor stuff, man. This mentor stuff is might be really really big here. Now this is your rival. This is your rival right here. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's your love interest. Uh, not really. Maybe make give her a belly top shirt or something like that. Maybe maybe we can work that out. Maybe we can work that out. That looks good. Okay. So from watching that, uh, I do get more of the storyline. It's coming. It's coming in you know full form. Uh, you don't make it to the NBA. Um, you have to go play overseas. Or you have to play overseas, then you still don't get drafted, so you got to go to the G League. Maybe that last second shot, maybe that's only one game overseas. Now, we know how 2K does this, man. You don't play many games before you get to the NBA. So, I'm guessing maybe it's one or two games for the overseas. Then you go through the draft. Then you go to the G League. Maybe it's a, a max of five games in the G League before you got to prove yourself to get into the NBA. And then after you make it to the NBA, it's, it's straight sales. Now, the only thing is, when you make it to the NBA, who's who from the storyline is still going to be there besides your friend that made it to the NBA and maybe a couple, like, coaches and stuff like that? Maybe your rival makes it to the NBA as well. Maybe uh, your love interest follows you the whole way. Maybe... Who else? Uh, I wouldn't say maybe not. Nah, I wouldn't say your mentor because your mentor got to He got to stay in the G League, baby. He ain't going to make it. Yeah, I'm sorry. He got to. He ain't going to make it. Uh, maybe they will bring in like um, the dude that had the rocket in his hand. Maybe they'll make him like your friend throughout, you know, your NBA uh, tenure. I don't know, man. Um, as far as trailer goes, I'm, this is all speculation. This is just my brain. Uh, moving a mile a minute. My phone is literally still blowing up. I'm going to answer some Twitter uh, answers, but I know a lot of people are probably like, man, I didn't want to watch that trailer. That trailer sucked, but just deal with it for now. Um, hopefully, we do get that skippable button. Me, honestly, as a YouTuber, I'm not going to be skipping cutscenes that I don't want to skip. The only stuff I'll skip is if um, I'm heading back to the locker room and, you know, that, that whole process, like skipping through that. Or if um, I go to my court and I know what skip scene, my, well, what skip scene, what cutscene is triggering, and then I can say, okay, well, let me skip that cutscene because all it is is somebody coming up talking about an endorsement or something like that that I've already had for a while, and same exact cutscene. But um, as far as like regular like storyline cutscenes, I won't be skipping that. Um, if I do create a bunch of players and I know like this is what I got to go through while I'm creating players, that's when I'll skip those cutscenes. Like from but for my first player, I won't be skipping nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At all. Um, most likely when I play the prelude, whatever the prelude has in it, um, when the regular game comes out and I might have to play that same exact thing, that's when I'll skip it. And then you guys won't have to endure it twice on my channel. But um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty long, but I had to get my, my breakdown, my hot takes, and had to keep watching it to get an understanding of it. You can't just watch something one time and think that you're going to get it, man. So um, I'm going to let you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.